The Israeli military now on high alert. We are prepared for any scenario, says Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Troy Yanks live in Tel Aviv with the very latest from there. And Trey, are you seeing any sense of uh, preparation, anticipation, waiting to see where and if uh, Iran could strike the Jewish state? Yeah, hey, Eric. Good afternoon. Israeli forces are on high alert tonight, bracing for an Iranian response. Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, releasing a statement saying they are closely monitoring a planned attack by Iran and its proxies. Israeli officials telling Fox News they believe this attack could come in phases, understanding there are clear indications across the region that point to a flashing red light of an Iranian attack. The Jordanians tonight closing their airspace. Israel's home front command announcing that all educational activities across Israel have been canceled. They are also limiting gatherings up to a thousand people. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu releasing a statement tonight saying, quote, for the past weeks, Israel has been preparing for the possibility of a direct attack from Iran. This would be the first time in history such an attack took place and would clearly draw some sort of Israeli response. It's part of the reason the Americans have been so involved in the process over the past 24 hours. You saw CENTCOM General Michael Carilla here on the ground in Tel Aviv meeting with top officials, determining what a response might be and also how the Americans could assist to shoot down Iranian drones or missiles targeting the Israelis. As we're talking here, there are a number of updates coming in and indications that Israel understands this is going to be a long evening. They want to ensure that the public is not panicking, but also is prepared for the hours ahead. Again, we can report Israeli officials are on high alert at this hour. We understand there are special instructions from Israel's home front command. An Israeli prime minister is meeting tonight with the cabinet, including Israel's defense minister, to determine what an Israeli response would be to an Iranian attack and understanding where the American support is going to come in. The Americans have been very clear they will support the Israelis in what they are calling an ironclad commitment. President Biden returning to the White House today, cutting his trip to Delaware short, understanding that the hours ahead could be uncharted territory for the Middle East. Eric? Uh, Trey, we're now getting word according to the IDF that Iran has launched, uh, Iran says, or the IDF says Iran has launched UAVs from its territory. UAVs from Iran toward Israel. We know that these are drones. Drones can fly under the radar. The IDF now prepared saying UAVs are on their way potentially to attack Israel. Any, any sense of where that could be, what the targets could be, military, civilian, any update on that? Yeah, Fox News can confirm, according to multiple sources, that drones have been launched from Iran toward Israel. It will take these drones hours to get here, and this could be just the initial phase of the Iranian attack against Israel. Israeli officials are meeting tonight to determine what their response will be to this drone attack. There are a variety of methods the Israelis could use to shoot down these drones, including fighter jets and some of their more air defense systems that are on the perimeter of Israeli territory. We're talking about some of the larger systems, not the Iron Dome that we've discussed over the past nearly 200 days amid the war between Israel and Gaza, but larger systems such as David's sling and the Aero system. Remember, this all began earlier this month when the Israelis targeted the Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria, killing Mohammed Zahadi, a top Iranian general in charge of the weapon shipments to places like Syria and Lebanon. It is what the Iranians have called a red line that was crossed. The Israelis have warned Iran not to launch such an attack as is underway as we speak. And there almost certainly will be an Israeli response to this Iranian uh, drone swarm that is headed toward the Jewish state. As we speak right now, again, we are reviewing the comments that are being made by Israel's uh, top spokesperson in the military, Daniel Hagari. The Israelis are trying to keep civilians here calm, understanding that this will be a very long night. It could come in multiple phases. But again, the information that Fox News can confirm at this hour, dozens of Iranian drones have been launched toward Israel. It will take these drones hours to get here. They could be intercepted by fighter jets and air defense systems. And as we speak, Israeli officials are gathering close to here in Tel Aviv 
at the Kiryah, Israel's version of the Pentagon, to determine what the Israeli response to this attack will be. Eric. Well, is there any sense of uh, fortunate news is that these uh, drones are detected. As you said, it, it takes some time, several hours for them to get there. So as the Israeli military IDF can be prepared, as you have said, to shoot them down. Then, of course, the concern this could be the first part of the escalation, cruise missiles potentially next. Any sense of uh, what those targets could be and, and how far this escalation could go? So over the past 48 hours, I have been talking with a variety of officials in Israel, all the way up to the defense minister, trying to get an understanding of what would take place if such an attack occurred. We do not know exactly what the targets of these drones will be. There has been mixed reporting over the past several days if the Iranians would only target military installations like bases in the northern or southern part of this country or if they would target major population centers like Tel Aviv, where we are standing right now. There is an understanding that, regardless, the Israelis see this as a direct attack on their territory. They will want to send a clear message to Iran, according to the sources that we've spoken with, that this is not acceptable. They want to deter this behavior. But again, we are talking in the very early minutes of this attack. These drones have not come anywhere close to Israeli airspace yet. But the real concern here, Eric, is not just the drone attack from Iran and any sort of cruise or ballistic missiles that could be fired at the same time. The real concern tonight is the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, Iran's largest proxy in the Middle East, a proxy that, according to sources we've talked with in the defense establishment here, has more than 100,000 rockets and missiles all aimed at Israel. And if there is a response from the Israelis, the understanding is that Iran could further activate Hezbollah, Hezbollah to target Israeli cities. They have been targeting Israel since October 8th, a day after the October 7th massacre. But they have focused their attacks on the northern part of this country. They have precision-guided missiles and other capabilities that can target major population centers like Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. They have not used them yet. And the concern is Iran could feel pressure from Israel in some sort of counterattack and then activate Hezbollah or other large proxies in the region, including Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen. Now, as we speak off in the distance, we can hear the buzz of an Israeli drone. That drone has been in the air over the past several months, collecting intelligence, also monitoring the situation here understanding that Israeli cities have been on high alert. This country has been at war since October. But again, tonight, we are in uncharted, unprecedented territory. Israel, right now, as we speak, is determining how they will respond to an attack that is underway. At this point, it is a drone attack launched by the Iranians. Dozens of drones, we understand, headed toward Israel. Many of them will be shot down or intercepted. And it is unclear what the target of these drones is at the moment we will be able to gather more information as the night progresses. Eric. A new, a new step from the terrorists in Tehran to attack potentially Israeli territory, the Jewish state itself with these drones. And as you mentioned, Hezbollah has upwards of 150,000 rockets. Trey Angslavin, Tel Aviv, we'll get back to you as soon as we have some more. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.